Hi lovelies! So, let's be honest, buying gifts for someone can be a bit of a minefield. You don't really know what they want exactly. I mean, they might love it, they might hate it, they might think you overstepped the mark. Dear goodness, do you think you know them too well or do you actually know them well? I mean, where do you begin? But to help you out, if you have a vintage lover in your life, here are a list of some gifts that I think they will very much enjoy. Largely because they're gifts that I would really enjoy, so. So in no particular order, here are nine gifts for the vintage lover in your life. If you're after something a little cheaper, say maybe your secret Santa is a lover of vintage or just a lover of sparkle, then boy oh boy, are they gonna love these. Oh yes. <laughs> These adorable little brooches came from Amazon, so you know, by the way, you can get them on Amazon Prime and they will arrive in time for Christmas. They're delightfully Christmas themed, they're very sparkly, and they go with pretty much every Christmas outfit. I'm a particular fan of the, of the little boot. I mean, it should be a stocking probably, but it's a boot. <laughs> Stuffed full of Christmas fun. My wife likes to point out to me that these are, in fact, incredibly tacky and I should never, ever wear them, ever. But, you know, I'm going to, because Christmas is about sparkle and wearing things that other people hate. And to be honest, I think that teamed with the right outfit or a delightful scarf, this could actually look rather stylish, rather sophisticated, a little elegant even. Who knows? But they're only 4 99 and they'll probably arrive tomorrow, so, Go for it. Why is Sandra on a swing? No one knows. It's adorable, no? Next up, a vintage railway posters calendar for 2018. This we found at the garden centre, our favourite outing. Yeah, we go on dates to the garden centre. Oh well, what are you gonna say? <laughs> this beautiful calendar shows nostalgic poster art from the golden age of rail travel. Who wouldn't want that? The delightful thing about this calendar is that not only is it useful, probably good to give to someone who forgets when you're going to meet up for your lunches and whatnot, it also just adds a lovely extra vintage sparkle to their house or their bedroom, wherever they're hanging it. Look, this is where we went for our one year anniversary. I'm a big fan of calendars. I like planning. I like to know what I'm doing and I am absolutely in love with old-fashioned adverts. The days when adverts were all painted or drawn rather than naked people. Is it just me or adverts nowadays mainly naked people? Look, it's my favourite place in England. Which I guess makes it my favourite place in the world as well. They also have vintage beauty advert calendars, all that type of thing. Refined, the refined type. I'm not talking the pin-up calendars, that is a very different thing. Although, who doesn't love a pin-up girl? Another thing about these calendars, they are a absolutely wonderful present for your friends or for your family who are overseas and who would like something that's quite quintessentially British. The calendar is also very well priced. I believe this one was only £7.99 at our local garden centre. However, I think you can buy them for cheaper online. Next up, this is something that I just I just could not recommend, for goodness sake, the perfect present for the vintage lover in your life who also wears makeup. Ah, Besame lipsticks. Since I did my Besame review and first look at all the beautiful products that they sent me, I am in love with these lipsticks. I wear them all the time. The one I'm currently wearing is Red Hot Red. Mm, I'm sorry, it just smells delightful. Not only do they smell delightful, as long as you put them on in the correct way, they are actually very long wearing and when you kiss a white dog it doesn't necessarily leave a massive kiss mark. But it does if you haven't blotted properly. The lipsticks are very well priced. They're only $22, which I believe is something like £16. Best male lipsticks are brilliant not only for the look that you can get whilst you are wearing them, which is Delightful. Look at these lips. Delightful. But they're also brilliant because even when you have completely used up the tube, look at that gorgeousness. That could just sit on your dressing table forever. I could give that to my grandchild. 
I don't think she'll love it. I mean, she'll probably want something else, but she's getting it because it's beautiful. Like an ornament as well. It's a two in one. It's makeup and an ornament. What more could you ask for? Watch my best mirror review video to find out my favorites from their collection. But really, I mean, pretty much anything they do, I think I'm in love. Next up, oh, I just gave you a little peek. <laughs> Next up is one of my real, real favorites of this video, I have to say. This beautiful, beautiful clutch from Rock My Vintage. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I want to take this with me everywhere, just on days, you know? Doesn't you? I don't have to be into a party or anything special. Just on a day out, just a little trip. Maybe I'll walk the dogs, but be carrying this. I think so. Ah, oh. Rock My Vintage are a stockist of various different retro and vintagey brands. Um, but they also have not only just clothes and accessories, but handbags and clutches. And oh my goodness. One of my favourite things about them are their lovely, lovely clutch bags, which are kind of a Gatsby style, I think you'll agree. They go, they do really well in going from 1920s, 30s, 40s, a bit 50s. So let's get it open. Woo! Now it also comes with a little gold chain, so if you prefer, rather than wearing it as a clutch, wearing it on your shoulder or across your body, that is also possible. It comes from the Rock My Vintage Melissa collection. I think I hope I'm saying that right. Melissa. Because there's a J on the end. Now it is a little more to the, I'm, we're going to say mid range, mid range, because it comes in at just under £50. So this I would feel is for someone that you really love in your life. A friend who you really, really care about. Someone who sat and listened to your hard times throughout the year. That's who this is for. <laughs> Dun 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 dun! What's in the box? This, I really, really, really wanted to put this in this video and to promote lovely Holly Young because she is doing an absolutely fantastic, fabulous job. She's a milliner, she's in Cornwall. She makes fabulous hats and fascinators and headpieces. Oh, they are absolutely to die for, and I love them all. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yes. Yeah, I'm actually going to pin that on my hair in a second. This absolutely adorable little fascinator comes in a full range of colours. The Swarovski crystals are optional. You don't have to have them if you don't like a little bit of bling, but come on, it's Christmas. Everyone likes a bit of bling at Christmas. The net is also optional and I believe comes in three different types of netting. So you can have the kind of wider net, the very thin net, no net at all. The design's all by Holly herself and everything is handmade. I am a big fan of wearing bows on my head, as you know if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, clearly. But fascinators for me, I think I'm, I'm a little mm, not sure on because often they're too big and I have to store them very carefully, which means they're not really out, so I don't tend to pick them up and just pop them on my head. But this is so delightful. I actually just wore this the other day, uh, just while out and about. We went for a walk in the park, because that's what I do. I'm a fascinated to the park. But this is so small, so neat, so lovely, that I can just keep it, I can keep it in my bedroom, on my little shelf of hair things. And it's also, the, I'd say, the perfect size. It's not a, a headpiece that is a kind of obnoxious, takes away all of the attention from you and the rest of your outfit, but it's also not so small that it's pointless because no one notices. Instead, it's, there's a man across the road taking a picture of me. Okay. Instead, it's so lovely because it's a real feature piece that I think people will comment on and comment very nicely, obviously, but it just adds something to your outfit rather than being the focal point. Obviously, Holly has a whole range of different things on her website, which you should definitely go and check out because, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. And this is one of the really well-priced, great little gift items that I think would be fabulous for someone you really like. It's only 45 pounds. It's a good standard mid price there. And, oh, it's so fabulous. So fabulous. 
Our next item is so special, I can't even explain. It's truly beautiful, really, really gorgeous. And to me, it's something that you would give someone who, who means a lot to you and who's given a lot to you. Do you know what I mean? You know, I'm thinking mother, grandmother, your favorite aunt, your best friend, your sister, someone who's really been there for you, loves you. Or, I'm sorry, your daughter, child, or, I'm so sorry, how sexist of me, or a man in your life as well. Because men can wear scarves, there's no reason why not. Fenwick London are an amazing British company who do hand-drawn skilks, skilk? Silk scarves. And they generally feature animals and currency. British currency generally. If you know me, you know that my favorite shop is a museum gift shop. And that is exactly the type of place that I can see Fenwick scarves because they're a mixture of fashion, but also art. I think that's really lovely to be able to wear an art piece. Walk around like, yes, yes, I'm wearing art upon myself. I also really like they're designed and manufactured in the UK using pretty much the finest craftsmanship. I like saying that, craftsmanship. And delightfully, all of the prints on their scarves are also available as prints for your wall. As I said, I really just love the idea of being able to have wearable art to take it around for you. Art shouldn't be something that is just kept in a gallery or on one of your walls at home, but you don't really look at it that much. I like the idea of wearing art because it means that not only are you enjoying it as an art piece, but also you can share it with all the people that you come across in your day-to-day -day life. <laughs> the scarf is so wonderful. Now, I realise it might seem a little scary to be wearing something with so much colour and so much detail, but really, believe me, there are easy ways to wear this. Of course, it is going to be the feature piece in whatever you are wearing. So I would advise that you wear it with a block colour, probably something pretty pale, but you could also take colours from the scarf itself, so this lovely pink, for instance, or a green, because there's a lovely, lovely, lovely leaves and greenery pattern all the way around the outside. Ah, and there's cheese. There's ham and cheese because there's a picnic. Mmm. And it's scented. Of course, all of this beauty does not come cheap, and the Fenix scarves are, they are quite pricey. But then, who am I to say what's pricey for you? Maybe it's not that pricey. And come on now, if someone has really, really given you so much love, and this is a big present, a big moment, maybe it's time that they get a Fenix scarf. Again, they feel to me like a real heirloom. This feels like something that I would receive and pass on to my daughter and my granddaughter. Or again, males in my family who enjoy wearing scarves. Moving on, another company that specialises in traditional craft-based industries and uses artisan techniques. We're going to be talking about Scaramanga. Ooh. They make wonderful bags using traditional material, methods and skills. Many of their suppliers are kind of small, family businesses who are making things all working together, which I just love. I think it's great that small scale producers can be able to very authentically using proper traditional materials and the crafts that people have pretty much lost over hundreds of years and really using them for delightful leather work. They make the most beautiful vintage inspired travel bags, handbags, and satchels. And, oh, look at this. This briefcase is made with traditional materials. I keep saying traditional. I know, I know, get a thesaurus. But really, that's kind of what I love about it. Fun fact, my mother was a leather worker for a few years. She made shoes for the queen. And ballet dancers. 
She also has a master's computing degree because layers. <laughs> With useful zip pockets on both sides and the middle bits. I, you could even use it as a weekend bag, to be honest, I think. I really. I think it's really important to support crafts and industries that are local and small scale rather than going to the, you know, made on a line, factory produced, halfway across the world using, you know, labour that probably isn't paid that much. Instead, let's go to the little family owned businesses and really support them and their craft and their artistry and things that people have learned to pass down through generation to generation to generation. That, I think, is what is kind of so important about loving vintage and retro. It's loving the honesty of production techniques as well. It's loving that you can find something that was made 50 years ago and it's still working today. It still looks great. It's a dress that has held together because of the amazing techniques that people were using back then. They're handmade, gorgeous garments compared to things now that you buy and you wear for a month and then it falls apart. Now, giving a fashion item as a present can be a little dicey. Do you know that person's fashion well enough? I mean, it's sort of awkward. They might be vintage, but what era are they? Do they like 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s? I mean, no, to be fair, if they like 60s, you can probably tell that they like 60s because, wow, that's, yeah. One of the ways you cannot, cannot go wrong is with these gorgeous shirts from the seamstress of Bloomsbury. Oh, uh, I know, you can't really tell how wonderful it is with just me holding it. Inserts and pictures. I love these shirts because they're all cut to traditional vintage patterns. They're also made out of the finest, most wonderful crepe fabric that is, again, very true. There's a girl staring at me. I've got to stop filming for a moment. It's, again, it's very true to the era. And her shirts come in a range, I'd say. I think you can wear them really no matter what decade of vintage you're into, but you can also wear them just with modern clothes. You can put on one of these gorgeous shirts and wear it with jeans and your trainers, say. Maybe not trainers, I mean, you know, zuz it up a bit. Or a modern skirt or modern trousers. They're really very adaptable pieces. And it's such a delightful range. I mean, really, I wish I owned them all. They're another great mid-range present, not too expensive. She does have a range of things, so she's got tops, skirts and dresses. Dresses obviously are going to be more expensive because that's a whole outfit right there. Um, I wore a little outfit made by her in my 100k video. If you saw that, my pictures. Oh, And I love, I love how they make you look. They really give a very true vintage silhouette. Again, it's an ethically produced small company based in the UK, but growing. So yes, I guess a large part of this video is just about saying, yay, ethical businesses. And finally, ooh. On the fourth day of Vlogmas, I was having a bit of a bad day. I made myself a little silk turban um, with one of my scarves because, you know, the, it, I, it was not good. I needed, yeah, needed to wash that. Mm -mm. <laughs> and many of you responded really, really positively, which is why I decided, oh yes, that a turban had to be in the giveaway. <gasps> oh, look at this beauty. This is from Lady K Love, who you know I've worked with before and I really like. Uh, they are in my favourites video, I think, about twice. I think I may have actually mentioned them twice. Turbans are fabulous for the days when Maybe you're not, you know, you've got, you've got roots, you've got a little bit of not looking great up there. But also they're great for days when you just kind of want to feel a little bit fabulous. Because when do you not feel fabulous wearing a turban? Instant perk. So I will be including this delightful turban in my giveaway this year. Which you can find out how to enter at the end of this video. But if you want your own and you don't happen to win the giveaway, for which I'm very sorry, I will do more giveaways in the new year though. You can just head over to Lady K Love's website and these beauties 
I think make an absolutely perfect present. They're under £15 if you're doing a secret Santa, that is £15 or less. And at £12.99, I mean I really think you should get two. One for you and one for someone else. I really like Lady K Loves because they are an ethically sourced UK business who work really closely with all of their manufacturers. So there you go, there are nine fabulous vintage gift ideas and I hope that you find something in this video to give to the vintage lover in your life, however you could just spread a little vintage love and magic to someone who doesn't normally dress that way. And remember, check out the link in the description to find out how you could win this gorgeous turban. Thank you.